So the resistance had a bit of a fight on their hands in 2029, backwards from 1997. The machines basically ruled the future. So we have the future war. The resistance wouldn't have just used their weaponry against Skynet, shall we say. They would have tried to capture other units and they did hence sending one back in terminator to judgment day but how easy was it to actually capture a t-800 i mean these things if you think of terminator salvation even though that doesn't count they alert other units so they're interconnected skynet can put its consciousness into any machine at any time in any place on the planet because of satellites so would it be easy my guess is no i mean you've got to remember t800 it's made to kill it like i say it's highly likely to alert others so it would just end up with a mindless battle as soon as you try and capture one of these devices you'd end up with a whole fleet of other units hks hk tanks and hunter killers aerial drones I think they captured them piece by piece. They would be in battle, they'd be blown up, there'd be a leg here, an arm there, a body stub. You know, you get what I'm saying, don't you? Because these units were designed to self-repair themselves. So if they were injured, they could take another arm and find it and then connect that back on from another unit. So they were basically made to self-repair. So if you could EMP a t800 or reprogram the cpu you could gather bits off the battlefield and then place together your own t800 but what about the skin covered ones yeah so how did they get the arnold schwarzenegger t101 well that was in 2029 when they basically won the war the resistance won the war they found the time displacement unit skynet had already sent back its terminator but in the same area there was rack upon rack upon rack of t101 so the terminators look like arnold schwarzenegger so they beat skynet they didn't need to worry about any other attacks so they then got a arnold schwarzenegger unit and cut a hole did a bit of brain surgery and then sent that back in time. But the difficulty of capturing a T-800 to get it on your team would be quite hard, especially if you didn't know what you were doing. But it was one of them things that I wondered about, and I just wondered if you wondered about, or if you had any more ideas. So my thoughts are capturing the unit, the unit being as advanced as it, as it is, could put itself together partially, as long as you've reprogrammed the CPU so the blooming thing doesn't warn its friends, shall we say, and then you end up with them invading your base. That would have probably happened as well. The war raged for 12 years, so capturing one, they probably pretended that they were, because these are, you know, Skynet's clever, very, very advanced. Skynet more than likely a few times pretended that it was a bit dumb the cpu in the t800 would, would have pretended there would have been trickery programming fix one up and then boom you've got a swarm on you so the resistance they're not stupid either so they would have probably had a small unit that actually dealt with this job away from any resistance bases got one going saw if it connected to anything else and then brought it back to fight for its uh, for our team so that's my ideas on the fixing and capturing a t800 let me know in the comments below what your ideas thoughts or facts are because it's all theory this is upside down six peace out